，因為你而家呢啲係活版嘅，呢啲已經淘汰噶啦，屬於咁啊，識得欣賞嘅人越嚟越少啦。冇噶啦，得翻我哋一間，可能下面有一間兩間嘅啫。I think Hong Kong looks better before. I know I can't save all the industry, but I can point them out. I really like Hong Kong. Sweden, the world's most popular city, is in the fifth place. The lavish lifestyle, the rich and rewarding lifestyle, the lavish and rewarding lifestyle, the lavish and rewarding lifestyle. 做個瑞典人好似好唔錯，不過就有人唔中意做瑞典人嚟做香港人。十幾年前，嚟自瑞典斯德哥爾摩嘅 Alexis 嚟香港旅行，對呢個同瑞典相反嘅城市一見鍾情。Everything in Hong Kong is the opposite, like weather, taxes, language, culture, food. Drive on the other side of the road. Everything's different. But in Hong Kong, you can just wear whatever you want, and nobody will actually care. It won't even be eccentric. And that's because Hong Kong is much more of a melting pot of people. There are people from everywhere, and people don't really mind. But Sweden is like a very close knit society. His eyes of this kind of freedom made him decide to move to Hong Kong ten years ago. He was a designer. 卖自己设计嘅手表同埋鞋。I、um, realize that even if we live in Hong Kong,、uh, all of us we sort of tend to live in our neighborhoods.、Right? So that's what we call home. 第一年佢住喺深水埗，闲时最中意行布档市场。一年之后佢搬到去上环，喺呢个社区落地生根。每日佢都俾呢个社区里边嘅人同埋创意吸引住。I saw it before when I walked past, and it's so curious. But apparently, it's to、uh, stop people from sitting on it because it's also a shrine for for the gods. It's quite lovely. Instead of having like glass, you know, like spiky things, they have ping pong balls, and they're quite quite sturdy. It is. It's very creative. I think it's typical like、uh, Hong Kong. But in Shanghai, he lived there for ten years. He found that this place has changed constantly. It just creates a, a difference between the new and the old, which is what's so nice about Hong Kong.、Right? Like the Tong Lao and the skyscraper is next to each other. I think as long as there's a balance, it's fine. But he said that this kind of balance is in Hong Kong. There has been a lot of changes recently. I think with with more、um, F&B, restaurants moving in and cafes. Typing Shan Street further up. Uh, had nothing on it. It was,、um, you know, just Dai Pai Dongs,、uh, uh, paper recycling shops, and things like this. And these changes are also due to the fact that the old shops are being closed one by one. Like the metal worker over on on、uh, Circular Pathway, his hands started to hurt, and he didn't want to bend metal anymore. You know, and nobody wants to take over. I think maybe the sad part is、uh, that there's no young generation taking over a lot of the trade. 而咁多年嚟 ，Alexis 發現香港每個社區入邊，大家都會埋手做自己嘅嘢，每個人都好唔同，但係又構成一個好和諧嘅社區。為咗記錄自己嘅社區同埋呢啲不斷消失嘅老店，佢就用唔同字型嘅街道名製作出香港嘅社區地圖。I've lived in Hong Kong so long that I wanted to do something that was more like significant. I realized that actually I should focus on Hong Kong and then make you know more things and see what else I can dig up. So one, I want to make it in Hong Kong, and two, I want to use any old techniques or anything that involves more craftsmanship. So I can dig up like who, what kind of craftsmen are out there, and what can I, who can I connect with, and who can I make things with. You know? So that's kind of what it turned into. It kind of turned into a Hong Kong brand. So when I started Tiny Island Maps, then、uh, um, I felt that I didn't want to have a, a Chinese font. I wanted to have a real calligraphy for the different neighborhoods. And he just found the same thing that he saw every day to write on the map. He's really old. So usually when I come down here, he's sleeping. So I wake him up, and he's like, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah." And then and my wife is like, "Don't wake him up. Don't wake him up." And then, but he's always really happy to like wake up and he's like, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah." And then, and my wife is like, "Don't wake him up." And then, but he's always really happy to like wake up and do some work. 
it's very unique to Hong Kong. You have the people that change the, the, the watch batteries and the watch straps, you know. And they have a shop that's like this big, you know. They sit on the street. I'm from in Sweden, of course it would never happen. People don't sit on the streets and do stuff. 不过，添叔都九十四岁啦。Alexis 都话最近唔太见到佢开档啦。而呢一间做咗三十几年嘅活版印刷，就系、是、佢印地图明信片嘅店家，系喺区入面，佢帮衬开制作画框嘅铺头介绍俾佢。I finally got to go here, and then this is wonderful basement that's like full of old offset printing machines. Um, like really old manual feed machines. 全部都古董嚟噶啦，根本都有啲五六十年噶啦。呢个七十年代嘅机，啊呢个最后期嘅，咁而家都已经四十年噶啦部机，都淘汰噶。而家佢都停咗产嘅，七几年、八十年代之后都冇生产过啦。佢要求都都有啲一定要求噶，同埋有啲专色咧，都好难揾到人咁有心做咯。因为你话诶、呃，有啲又未必识欣赏我哋啲咁嘅手艺啊嘛。而同佢合作嘅，仲有呢一间喺区入边三十年嘅纸盒店。以前每次佢经过，都会对呢一间铺头好好奇。I love all kinds of machines, you know, especially old machines. So I actually I came here to film myself. So when I started doing this, and then I was saying, oh, this is so exciting. And then Feng says, you really think so? <laughs> They do it every day. It's very normal. 即係其實我哋而家做緊嘅嘢就係細水長流，即係以前嘅誒四十年前至五十年前做緊嘅嘢。以前呢度有一條街叫公然行，你哋可能都未知嘅，成條都係做呢啲咁嘅紙盒。因為而家淘汰咗好多人手啊，咁啊變咗冇人冇人入行啊，咁啊變咗唔會做呢啲嘢。無論年紀大定係行業式味，都係呢一啲老店慢慢消失嘅原因。There's a lot of things that are made in Hong Kong that you don't think about could be interesting to work with. But if you look at something like someone who makes letterboxes and what can I make with him, or、uh, unrelated industries, but they're still producing something. I think that's really exciting because then I don't know anything about that, then I can go there and learn and then make something. 而喺制作地图嘅过程入面，佢都认识咗更加多其他嘅社区。What is it about Sektong Joy or what is it about Sai Kung? Sain Kun is like Western Army camps.、Oh, okay, so this is where the army was stationed. And, you know,、uh, no Chinese allowed to live above High Street.、Like、you learn a lot when you do it. I know I can't save all the industries, right? All the trades. I can't do that by myself. But I can point them out and I can celebrate them while also celebrating、uh, Hong Kong, you know, culture and communities and neighborhoods.、So, yeah, I think it's nice. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.